Y'all, we are at the wonderful Publix here in South Florida. As you guys can see, Publix is way over there. And we gotta get some stuff for today's video because today we're doing cheap Walmart fish trap versus homemade fish trap. I gotta go inside, get some bait, get a freaking fish trap that we're gonna see us build here shortly. Then we're gonna go throw these things in the water. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm sure all you guys know by now, the Walmart fish trap, the $8 fish trap, that absolutely, it gets so many fish. I mean, you guys have seen in the past videos, hundreds and hundreds of fish we get inside this fish trap, so we know it works. Now, I saw a lot of your guys' comments that said, just pull the freaking cord, and you know what? You guys are freaking right. That fish trap is ready to roll. Now, on the other hand, we gotta make this fish trap. I just got back from Publix, and, uh, we're gonna be turning this Sprite bottle into a fish trap. Now the reason why I got the clear one is because it's clear, the fish can see right through it. And instead of getting like the green Sprite bottle that's a little bit hard to see through, I went with the all white. So let's get building this thing. First order, whoa, I should shake it up. There we go. First order of business, we gotta get all this out of here. Perfect. We gotta get all this Sprite out of here. Let's try it. See if it's good. The fish gonna like it? Mm. That's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. We're bathing in freaking Sprite. Good thing it's zero sugar. Zero sugar, that means it won't be sticky here. Okay, so there you have it. This is our fish trap. Now we gotta get this label off. We gotta cut it and we gotta build this thing. You guys ready for this? Don't mess with Fish Guy Jack, okay? He's always freaking ready to roll. All right, let's cut this freaking thing off here. Just like that, beautiful. Mr. Duck, I don't like ducks. You come near me. Yeah, you're gonna be in the freaking can cooker. Now this is beautiful. It's completely clear, which is great because the fish are gonna be able to see the bread. And we got some hot dogs this go around. So let's go ahead and cut this lid off. Just like this, cut the lid off. Don't cut your finger off, okay? Booyah. Boo freaking ya. Yeah. That's how it's done. This bad boy way. Unless those ducks come near me again, they're done, I'm telling you. You're done. Okay, so now here's how our fish trap is gonna work. It's gonna be like this, okay? We're gonna put that inside there. We're gonna load the inside of this with bread and the fish will be able to swim right through here and get stuck inside the trap. Now I did bring some duct tape because I think if I have some duct tape, it's gonna help this fish trap a lot. So I'm gonna apply that duct tape now, then we gotta bait this puppy. Okay, so here is our homemade fish trap. I mean, this was a $2 soda can that we just turned into a fish trap with the help of a $3.99 scotch roll and a $10 knife. This thing's ready to roll. Their fish are gonna swim right in through there just like that, and they're gonna get stuck and not be able to get out. Now, let's talk about some bait. For bait, we got the freaking roll of Wonder Bread right here for the minnows. They're gonna absolutely devour this. And now the secret bait right here is gonna be these hot dogs. In my last fish trap video, I tried putting shiners in the fish trap to catch crawfish, and a lot of comments said the number one bait is hot dogs. So that's exactly why we have hot dogs here. We're gonna put the same amount of bait in each trap. That way there's no disadvantages for any trap. We're gonna let them soak the same amount of time, we're gonna pull them at the same time, and we're gonna see which is better, the cheap Walmart trap for $8 or the $5 homemade trap. We'll see what happens. Let's bait these traps up and head over to the creek and let's get them soaking. All right, we are at the creek. It's time to bait these things up. Now this is my favorite fish trap of all time. I mean, this thing is an absolute slayer. It absolutely slays out. So let's go ahead and bait that one first. We're gonna take our wieners right here, you know? I'm gonna put two wieners in each freaking trap. So let's cut that puppy open. Ugh. We're gonna take this freaking wiener, cut it, okay? We're gonna cut it into three pieces, each of them. Just like that, one, two, three. Because I wanna to try to catch crawfish just go around. Let's throw that in here, one, two, three. Grab another wiener. One, two, three. Booyah, in each trap. Take our Wonder Bread here. We're gonna grab four pieces, one, two, three. We'll do three pieces, how about that? We'll do three. Three pieces of Wonder Bread in each. Boom, throw that in there. Another one, boom, and another one. Whoa, so that's what our trap's looking like right now. We got great 
We got high hopes for this one, y'all. We got high freaking hopes. Now the homemade trap. This one I'm a little worried about, but I think it's gonna still work. Let's grab our hot dogs. I'm sorry, let's grab our wieners here. Three pieces. Boom. Boom. We got a total of six right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Throw that in the trap. That's what it's gonna be looking like. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna be able to put the same amount of bread. I think I'm gonna have to only put two loaves of bread because there's not much room in this trap already. Shove it in there as well. All right, so we got two pieces of bread, six pieces of hot dogs in each trap. Let's go ahead, throw them in the water and set the timer. Okay, this one I am gonna give a little bit of a head start because I believe it is at a disadvantage. So let's go ahead and sink this puppy right here. Let it fill up, that way it'll sink. Look at that, you guys can already see the hot dogs and the bread already soaking up all that good, good water. You gotta make sure all the air is out of it. There you go, that's the remaining of the air. Put that puppy right there. We'll see what happens. And now the Mac Daddy. This bad boy is gonna slay out. I'm telling you right now. We're gonna put this one right here. Oh, let's throw him right there. Let's make sure it's sunk all the way. Perfect. Hot dogs and bread. Hot dogs and bread. You guys can already see how many minnows are already swimming around that puppy. Hey Siri, set a timer for one hour. There you guys have it. One hour we're gonna let this puppy soak. Then we'll be back. I'm just hoping we get some crawfish, honestly. The winner will be declared by whoever catches the most amount of different species, because obviously the Walmart fish trap is gonna get a lot more fish than the homemade one, but let's say the homemade one has minnows and a crawfish, and the fish trap from Walmart only has straight minnows, the homemade trap will win this challenge. Let's see which one's gonna do it, baby. Now, I told you guys I'm really not much of a duck guy, but I got extra bread here. Watch the flock of ducks that are gonna come running right now. Over there. Nobody come near me, okay? I don't want anybody near me because, see, look at this, see? How intimidating is this? No, 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 you guys, get away, get the fuck away. Get away. You guys are way too many of you guys and not know this many of you guys are here. I don't have any more bread. I got a little bit more bread. Back the I have more bread. I have bread for everyone. Everyone stay calm, please. Everyone, please stay calm. Get away! You freaking scare me. Go over there. You know I'm gonna start scattering it everywhere. Everyone run. Everyone run. Run away. Go over there. Run away from me. We're out of here. We gotta run. Okay, that's exactly why I'm not a duck guy, okay? Look how many ducks are here. These guys won't leave me alone. Look at the flock of ducks and the birds. Look, they're running up to the car because my window's down. Now, everyone scram. Look how many ducks are here, dude. I'll never have ducks, ever. Unless it's Aflac, get away. That was honestly one of the more scarier things I've done on this channel and that's a fact, okay? We still have another 52 minutes. 52 minutes of letting those traps soak. I was gonna go take you guys on a little adventure in the meantime, but you know what? I'm gonna have this video strictly fish trap, okay? Strictly fish trap. I talked to the, disc the people in the Discord, they said, you know what, that's a great idea. Do homemade versus Walmart fish trap. And I listened, so, oh my God. Do you guys wanna get run over? I will gladly run everyone over. I will gladly run these ducks over. I'm moving. Oh, there was a squirrel. You guys see the little squirrel? I like squirrels. Okay, I really don't want to hit a duck, but if they're in the way. You know what? The smart survive and the strong survive. But we're going to be back here for you guys a split second. But for me, we got 50 more minutes. Oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are heading to go pull our traps. My alarm went off. The Oh, that guy was going about 150 miles an hour down my road, and I almost hit him. And honestly... My truck would have had no damage, so I wish I f***ing hit him because that guy was going way too fast. But we're going to go pull our traps. Saying goodbye to my mama. How we're going to help you. What are you talking about? I didn't ask you to talk to me. Somebody's calling me too. Yo, I'm working. All right, that was a lot of distractions there in a quick span of time. But we're pulling up to the pull the fish traps right now. Fingers crossed. I'm just really just hoping we got a crawfish in one of them. I'm gonna be stoked if we freaking netted a crawfish. So we're pulling up there right now. Let's see what we get. We just pulled up and look who's here already. Alfonso the duck. Here comes Mike and here comes Jeremy. These ducks are gonna start recognizing my truck and it's not gonna be a good thing. There's Felicia. Get out of here, Felicia. Jeremy, Mike, Alfonso. Let's walk up to that trap. We gotta bring a bucket. Let's see who's gonna win this competition. Okay, so here are the traps. We got trap from Walmart, and we got the homemade trap right there. But this bird right there was sitting over the trap right here. I don't know if that's gonna have any effect on the number of fish inside there, but we're gonna pull the homemade trap first, and let's see what's inside. Oh, we got it. 
Okay, let's see. What do we got? We got some freaking minnows in there right off the rip. Let's see. All right, we're gonna take the lid off this puppy. Hold up. There's a lot of minnows in there though. You guys see all those minnows in there? I don't see any crawfish or anything, but safe to say that this trap works. Okay, I'm gonna throw these hot dogs out. It's really looking like we just got solely straight minnows. Yep, that's it. We got only minnows and this water is stinky. I'll tell you what. I took a couple of the minnows, I threw them in the bucket just so we know what this trap caught. We don't need to take any of those home with us because we already have so many minnows in the mini tank. But now it's time to pull the holy grail. Here we go, y'all. I'm really fingers crossed. Let's hope that this trap has a crawfish in it. Ooh. Oh my God, we barely got anything in here. All we got is minnows. Okay, in here we literally have straight minnows. We don't have any shrimp, we have no crawfish. None of that. Oh, we got a shrimp. No, we do have a shrimp, y'all. We have a shrimp, so we have a winner. Where'd the shrimp go, though? He's right here. We gotta get that shrimp out. Come here, Mr. Shrimp. I've got it. I've got the shrimp. See that little shrimp right there? Little freshwater shrimp on my hand right there. Pretty freaking sick. Let's throw him back. Be free, my buddy. Let's see what else we got. So we had a shrimp. We got a lot of minnows, as you guys can see. I don't see any crawfish, and I don't see any other type of weird uh, minnow in here. Definitely shocking results, I'll tell you what. Definitely shocking. Let's put all these guys back. You guys, I'll tell you what. This homemade fish trap, yeah, it only caught maybe 30, 40 minnows, and this thing maybe caught like 50 or 60, and one shrimp inside the Walmart fish trap, so technically the Walmart fish trap did win this challenge, but that was a homemade fish trap. I didn't even need to go to Publix to get it. I could have just literally walked around the house, got duct tape, got the freaking bottle, and I would have been done. It would have been free, technically. But yeah, the Walmart fish trap did win this challenge. I mean, it definitely, definitely, you can kind of see why it's an actual fish trap compared to this thing. But this thing, I will give it to it. Put up a pretty good chance. Put up a pretty good fight, I'll tell you what. That's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little fish trap challenge. I'll tell you what, if this video gets, we're gonna up it a little bit. If this video gets 1,500 likes, I will do a 24 hour fish trap video, all right? I'll literally go throw, I'll throw like three traps in three different areas, let them soak for 24 hours, but let me know down below. I wanna be able to get crawfish. I tried the hot dogs, we got none. I don't know what to do differently, let me know down below, but if this video gets 1,500 likes, I'll do a 24 hour fish trap video. I appreciate the love and support. I'm gonna give a shout out to people in Discord right now. Let's see, let's see who's typing away. Shout out to Neelan, shout out to God Awful, shout out to Lemonhead again, and shout out to Fishman024. Those are some people that are going in the Discord. We got over 300 people in the Discord now. Absolutely unreal. The support is amazing. I love you guys so freaking much. I'll catch you guys in that next video. We got the duck eating the freaking bread. Remember, I'm not a duck guy, I'm a fish guy. I'll see you guys in that next one. Peace.